Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doke Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how to beat the special pose, signature pose, uh, whichever one it's called, a challenge for the Cell Max event. So basically this is a pretty difficult challenge, uh, it's quite intense and the best way to take it on, you're going to need one of the gammas. You're going to need either gamma 1 or gamma 2. You're going to need at least one of them because you need to essentially have one of the gammas in one rotation, fill up the team with whoever you can, and then hopefully, well, ideally you take a friend Piccolo, and with that friend Piccolo, you're able to basically defeat the boss with one turn, <laughs> or with Piccolo. So how it works is you want to have Gamma 1 or Gamma 2. If you've got both, preferably, but either Gamma 1 or Gamma 2. Then you want to have whatever signature pose unit you can to fill things up. So the reason I like to go ideally with Gamma 2 is because he is a signature pose lead and he does a lot of damage. So he can be in one rotation. He usually insta finishes the boss no matter which phase. And then Piccolo is in the other rotation. Now the thing with Piccolo is his giant form transformation only works if you have a full rotation of superheroes units. If you don't, then you're going to have to try and stall out till the fifth turn. So it's pretty important. From there, the best way to kind of handle things is to wait until Piccolo can get his giant transformation. Try and manage your damage so that you get to the point where you have Piccolo activating his giant transformation at the precise time, the moment you want Piccolo to get to the tech cell max phase. If Piccolo is not in the first turn of the tech cell max phase, your chance of success is incredibly low because you are like way, way, way behind them. You know, you, you like very you to survive the turn especially if you're only using one gamma one or one gamma two is like intrinsically impossible uh basically so you essentially have to like automatically you know try to manage the workload so you want to get piccolo up all sorted and then from there realistically your next best bet is probably to just run it a few times so now you need Piccolo's giant form transformation. His giant form transformation has to, has to uh, essentially run like, it has to basically run uh, as like three turns. So it needs to run as many turns as possible. Three turns will guarantee you the win. Um, anything less will give you a couple problems. But yeah, three turns will guarantee you the win, which is quite important. You can see here how I'm managing my damage load uh, by not having, you know, by not having Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 uh, essentially function uh, or fire off attacks. You can see how I'm kind of like, you know, really pushing uh, a lot of these units to not attack, to kind of conserve energy, uh, to, you know, really do the best I can. Once you get that Piccolo, you're just banking on those three turns. Once you get those three turns, you can do enough damage that, generally speaking, Piccolo finishes him off uh, for the most part. If he doesn't, you're going to rely a lot on your other units evading. So if you are bringing other units, definitely bring them with evasion. Now, if you don't have, because n very few special pose units fit under Piccolo's lead. So if you don't, like, obviously you're not going to have a lot of units that do that. Your best bet is to go with the Ginyu Force. Because the Ginyu Force is still strong enough and there is a single signature pose lead to be fine. And they are free to play most of them. The physical Captain Ginyu, the tech Captain Ginyu, they're not going to survive Cell Max attacks at all. But they'll survive the first and second phase. Enough so that you can just keep trying with Piccolo to get that transformation. Once you get Piccolo's transformation in the tech phase, you're basically done. You're relying entirely on him finishing things off. But you should be able to get it done. It should be possible. It should be, you know, something you can manage to do. So yeah, definitely, I definitely give this one a try. It's something that's, you know, an interesting workaround. Um, but at the end of the day, it gets the job done. And you know what? At least you're happy and you're good to go. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for me. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Until then, as always, take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Well, also, if you do need help or you're wondering who to use, just give me a shout in the comments. Uh, give me a mention and I'll try and see if I can give you some tips. But yeah, that's basically it for me. Bye.